Uh, no we had topic. Sly, a.k.a. Loco, ask hey. on Instagram. Uh, and then we had... Sorry. Well, hold on. i pull out my lied. phone now. I'm you stumbling lied. here. You may see uh, it on the screen. Who knows how we edited this? Yeah, who knows how we edited this? Uh, and then we also had somebody on Instagram, CE420. I'm sorry, X, CE420. Yep. Asked a similar question. Okay, so has any of the STF boys tested their plants for pathogens? If so, what were the results? That was from CE420. And then Sly asked, it's real similar, have you guys dealt with HLVD, Hoplite and Viroid? Mm. I thought those, that we could pr- group those two together. Franklin Fields did. Franklin Fields had hot blatant. <laughs> no, they were in the news like shortly really? after. Uh, yeah, it was a thing saying how bad it is in Michigan, and they were on the front page of USA Today. What great time is I'm not working there anymore to have that happen. But hot blatant virus, virus, virus seems to seems to be. Uh, we sold you. We started this. We can't yep, say words. Thank you, boys. Uh, seems to be a pretty popular conversation lately. It's been brought up a few times it's in my conversation or in my comment <laughs> section. <laughs> so mean, I'm curious. Uh, am I wrong, uh, Chris? Can you speak on HLVD? Hoplite viroid. It's a viroid, not a virus. There's differences there. Uh, it's a plant pathogen that really impacts the plant and. A real negative way to where stunted growth reduce yields, and it is abundant across uh, commercial facilities and home grows. Uh, commercial mm-hmm. facilities, you're looking at eighty plus percent of the facilities that have been tested tested positive. Don't bang so, the same chick, dude. <laughs> I'm, tell- I'm telling home you, home grow. Like it's kind of hard to know what the same people. Well, what the impact is there, but it's uh, very um, easily transferable in different ways, from water to being a part of seeds to uh, a whole list of ways. So that's kind of a quick recap. So on, you said it was a it. pathogen. So yep. question answered. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Sly. Thank you, CE, <laughs> for your answer. <laughs> well, uh, have you? Well, and, well and let me answer it. Let me answer. I, I haven't dealt with HLVD, but I have had got a test. Uh, shout out Farmer Freeman. Although his tests are kind of expensive, I think it's like fifty bucks yes, a test. They are not cheap. But uh, I had a plant which I thought had oblate and viroid. It had uh, a very distinct characteristic where the leaves were overlapping. And that is one of the characteristics of the hot lane viroid. And I got it tested and it didn't have it. It was actually tested negative. So it Morphology. wasn't actually. It was just the ca- characteristic that came out of that that uh, that phenotype there. So was that so it was a new genetic that you had? Or it could have been some other pathogen that I didn't test for, obviously. It was just a hot lane viroid test. So yeah, I have had I've gone through the testing process before. They take part of the plant. Uh, some of these places take the root as well. Uh, and then you send it in for testing, and they tell you whether it's positive or negative. Huh? So no, I haven't come across hot bleeding viroid. Thankfully, First space it was always from the root ball. Where root they ball. To take it from, and it's it's crazy because how it's noticed in the commercial space is is COAs, your 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 certi- certificate of analysis, and all of your data. Because you're like, damn, we normally are getting two point five pounds of light on this plant. But the last four in a row, it's diminished more and more and more. There's no variables that have changed because it's down to a science. It's down to the T with the commercial grow. Like, but somehow, some way, we've lost 40% yield. Like, what happened? That's when usually it triggers the testing that comes into place. Myself, I haven't dealt with it. been thankful, but in the commercial setting, I've seen it. Uh, to be clear, Frank Fields didn't run into it like much at all until they got some cuts from other facilities and other people. That's where it comes into play is they don't realize they have it. They spread it around. This was the 80s all over again. Got on Magic Johnson. He made it through. It's just dangerous because you don't know if you have it because it's not always visible. So it's like you kind of have to spend the money to get it tested. The big thing I've noticed with a lot of people is they're claiming, and I haven't seen it myself, that it's coming from seeds. So the source of where you're getting your seeds, like you can get it in seeds too. It's, 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 um, would it be systemic then at that point? Hereditary. Hereditary? What would it be? I What's say it again. Word? I zoned like out. If, if, so <laughs> the, <week. laughs> the seedling. So the baby, the offspring. Yeah. About would it, it be, uh, it's systemic then. It's what the like f- about it? He's like, what about it, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't care. What it's like, answer slash question. Would the seed, the offspring of something that HL, has HLVD? Could it have HLVD? Yes, yes. absolutely. It so can, that's can where be. people are being paranoid and thinking it's being spread around potentially intentionally. Yeah. You know, and this is something to almost be like, now we are the only ones with good genetics. Mm-hmm. Ha, ha, ha. 
Could Hopefully, be, Hoplite yeah. is totally a, like. If you guys want to see a whole episode on it, comment down below. We have enough to talk about Hoplite. That's a whole episode, and we should definitely do one of those. Diseases I think it's overdue. Diseases to in do general. It. There's a lot to say. We have a couple experts that we could get on the podcast as well. So yeah. we're yeah. going to keep it moving with the questions here. Good idea. Yeah. When Mrs. P and I first started dated, uh, I was tested. Came That's back good. negative. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Still clean. I haven't had HLPD. Right, good. <laughs> this FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity. Leaders in Garden Innovation. Use discount code the stash15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.